The first photo shoot is tomorrow. The outdoor urban style photo shoot is tomorrow, which is exciting. It's exciting, but I've also got this overwhelming sense of anxiety of the fact that am I lean enough? Could I have done more? Have I been pushing hard enough? Am I as lean as I was last time with the, with the, with the last diet? And I, I don't think I am, but I gave myself more time within the last diet. And also, I gave myself eight weeks. And also as well, I was, I started at like a leaner body composition last time. I was only like 86 kilos. This time I was like 89 kilos. So I have this weird, like I'm having this, this weird overwhelming sense of just like anxiety of like, do I want to do this? But I do want to, I, I've, I've pushed so hard over the last six weeks. I've done everything I physically could have. My body weight's gone from like 89.3 kilos all the way down to 80.8, which is like a, a ridiculous amount of, of body weight to lose within that six period of time, that, that six week period of time. And I think as well, the fact that my body weight hasn't really moved at all this week is sort of playing my head a, a little bit on, in, that, in that sense. My body weight's only like, I've dropped 0 0.8 of a kilo on average from last week, which is which is awesome. But I've been looking at those daily weigh-ins and it's been sort of just like fluctuating about that, around that 81 to they pop back up to like 81.5, which did my absolute head in. Then it's gone back down to like 80.7, 80. 80 Point eight this morning, so it's sort of like holding around them. But I know you know, I look at things on an average like basis, but you know what it's like when you're looking at daily weights, it's all just like does your head in like why oh, and you drop it, I'm doing everything I can, I'm doing my cardio, I'm doing my steps, I'm doing my training, I'm I'm just getting my calories on what more do you want this drop? But we've done everything we could and and I'm, I'm I am excited and I know once I go and do the photo shoot tomorrow I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna really enjoy it, and we'll get some really cool photos. And then I've got the photo shoot the following weekend, the following Sunday, which is gonna be the like the gym one, which I'm which I'm really excited for. That'd be good fun. I yesterday like veated, veated my whole body, so I'm pretty much hairless. But if you've ever done it, it's an absolute pain in the ass to get all the hair off, but majority of the hair is off, and I've got a spray tan today to get me nice and tanned up, and then we've also gonna run a little bit of like a, um, a higher carbohydrate day just to make me look a little bit fuller going into tomorrow's photo shoot. I am looking flat as hell, so we're gonna increase carbohydrate content of my diet today. I'm basically just gonna double it. At the moment, the macros have been 250 grams of carbohydrates, around about that, around 180 to 190 grams of protein, and then fats been sitting around about like 50 to 50 grams pretty much so we're going to basically keep protein and fats exactly the same so 180 grams of protein and then 50 grams of carbohydrate so 50 grams of fat but then have 500 grams of carbs i'm going to keep my meal structure exactly the same so meal one will be around about 12 meal two will be around about three four meal three will be around about seven six day seven and then meal four my last meal would be around about sort of eight thirty nine ish and that's how i've been structuring my meals over the last week and that's how i'm going to keep it going so i'm going to keep it the same i don't want to change anything i will take you through the whole thing today in regards to what i consume what i like why i'm consuming certain foods and basically just how i feel it's gonna be sick i'll take you for a physique update later as well Enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, like what you're doing, and also give the video a like because your boy needs a bit of, you know? An awesome diet hack is to put sugar-free flavor drops into a coffee. Oh, it just makes it so good, so sweet and beautiful. While the coffee cools down, let's give you a quick physique update. This is very unflattering light. But I will do it guys, there's a very true physique up there of what my actual physique looks like, what my composition looks like. There's no downward lights coming in, there's no like good sunlight making me leaner than I am. So this is just a true representation of what your boy looks like. Here we go. <laughs> So that is my physique fasted and looking pretty flat with no tan and terrible lighting. So I'm excited to see how I look tomorrow with a load of carbohydrates in my system, a tan, I think the tan's going to make a huge difference, and also just better lighting. I'm excited. Just cooking up Mil Numero 
uno, the time is 12 o'clock. We have got basically the, the, the classic breakfast, which is the 150 mils of egg whites, two whole eggs, a couple of jalapenos in there because we like it spicy. Spinach and just make it into a beautiful omelette and put on top a bit of salsa, which is this salsa here. If you haven't had it, it is unbelievable. Really low calorie as well, which is awesome. So we've got, this is like the, the, the protein of the meal. Then we've got the carbohydrates. I do normally have oats with this meal, but as I'm having like quite high carbs today, I've swapped the oats for cream of rice just because it digests a little bit better. So we've got 100 grams of cream of rice, 20 grams of, 20 grams is incorrect, 100 grams of blueberries, and I'm gonna chuck 10 grams of dark chocolate on there as well. And it just goes so good. And what I've done to make the cream of rice to taste a little bit nicer, because I just use plain ground rice, is I used the maple syrup flavoring, put that on top, makes it really good, and I'm gonna chuck a little bit of the skinny syrup, the sugar-free syrups on there. And this meal equates to around, I think it's, I'll, I will put them on the screen, but I think it's 50 grams of protein, 15 grams of fat, and 100 grams of carbs. And I am salivating over this, but I love cream rice, it's so good. The tan is done. Man, it makes my teeth look so white, doesn't it? This is, Apparently a lot darker than it's actually going to be. Like once I get in the shower, it's gonna be pretty like a more of a natural tan. But this is like it goes dark because that's how they like guide it onto your skin. Something like that she was explaining to me. I don't really understand. But basically, yeah. The tan is done. So this is gonna be like the more natural tan for tomorrow's shoe. Then next weekend in the gym is gonna be more of a dark tan. Fuck about holiday. I like it. Sit mate. Mill two is going down. We have got 120 grams of uncooked chicken. Obviously, I cooked it, but I weighed it uncooked. 200 grams of mixed veggies, 55 grams of avocado, a little bit of salsa, some Frank's red hot sauce, the buffalo wings one, which is the best one, and 100 grams of Thai jasmine rice. That's uncooked weighed. Oh, man, that's not the cooked weight. You see what I mean? I cook it. And then you know, and then we've got 90 grams of the natural snakes as like extra carbs. I'll put the macros on the screen. I'm so excited for this meal. I've been delaying, oh my God, I dropped some on my leg. I've been delaying it because I've been trying to get the lighting set up for the shot. It's annoying me. I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. Mm. Pain. I haven't eaten a sweet in like six weeks. I'm excited. What should I go for? I'm always a fan of like the light red ones. Then I'd go like purple, then orange, and then yellow. Yellow's probably the worst. Let's go for one. Sweets are so good. I love sweets. I think those carbohydrates and the tan has done its trick, mate. We are looking leaner. Getting full. <laughs> meal three is exactly the same as meal two. Well, it's not exactly the same, is it, Pat? Because there's a lot of different things. There wasn't meant to be a lot of different things, but there are a lot of different things because I'm ill prepared. The chicken's exactly the same, so the 120 grams of chicken with mixed veggies cooked to perfection. Peng. We've got the rice, which is around about 250 grams of cooked weight rice, but I don't do that, I just cooked up 200 grams of rice, so this is 100 grams of uncooked rice, essentially, there. And we've got, we were meant to have 55 grams of avocado with this meal, but I just realized I've run out of avocado, so you swap the avocado for 20 grams of dark chocolate. No, I'm not gonna put the dark chocolate on the chicken and rice because that would be a little bit weird. So we're gonna have the dark chocolate with, instead of having 80 grams, instead of having 90 grams like the previous meal, I've got 70 grams of the jelly sweets. Pengaling, obviously sauces of choice, you got on the chicken, red, Frank's hot wings, so good, so low calorie, and then there's a little bit of salsa because, sick. The last meal of the day. I'm going in with the, the cream of rice goodness because cream of rice is absolutely delicious. And when you make it, it's got to be like a masterpiece like that. And then you place that 20 grams of dark chocolate on and you push it 
so it just melts fantastically. We've got 100 grams of cream of rice there, 40 grams of whey ice there, 100 grams of frozen blueberries, and 20 grams of dark chocolate, the Cetal one. I've had a shower, I've washed the tan off, and I'm happy with how it's. Oh, you, you, you. Mate, come on. Oh, get on my back. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm happy with the colour. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, I might continue getting fake tans because. Sick. But actually, some beds open next week, don't they? Come on. Naughty. Bad for your skin. I'm just going to put a little bit of skinny maple syrup on it. Because, look at this, guys. Get some, get some drip action on there. Beauty, absolute beauty. So that is a full day of eating for you guys on 500 grams of carbohydrates. A little refeed for tomorrow's shoot. I'm gonna film the whole thing tomorrow. So I'm gonna end this video here. We're gonna try and get to a thousand subscribers this year. So if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, what the goddamn hell are you doing? Click the subscribe button. Come on, support your boy. We need to get to a thousand subbies, mate. 1,000 subbies. If you had already liked the video because likes means I get happy. Cheers for watching.